Hello YouTube, Baja Bless here again. Today we're gonna do a small short video on how to de-anodize your aluminum parts. So this is a very, very easy step that we're gonna be taking here today. As you can see, I have an orange servo plate, servo cover for my Baja 5B. And um, I wanted it aluminum uh, chrome so they had they didn't have it it was sold out so I bought the the orange so now that I have it it looks awesome on my buggy but I want what I want so I want it chrome so I have a couple steps here to show you how we gonna make this from orange back to its original chrome color okay so like I said, all you need is the item that you're going to use. Some easy off uh, oven cleaner. And make sure you get the name brand one. If you get the, the cheap kind, it's not going to work as well. This name brand easy off will do, this can will do a lot of jobs. This is fairly amount depending on what you want to do. So um, I have a demo here that I've done earlier and these here are some what is these um ball joints off of my Baja 5B so they were the same color as this so I just recently changed these back these are broken ones but I just you know I want to try them out so today we we're going to be making this orange just roving orange Back to its normal aluminum color. So basically, all we do here, um, you may want to take a nice clean rag and just clean up your part a little bit. Try to get as much dirt as you can out of it. Um, it's not really going to hurt if you really, really don't. But you know, the more dirt you get up out of it, the best, the better the job is going to come out. And um, you know, everyone knows you do it right the first time. You don't have to do it again. So here is going to be. So what you do is you place your item into the sink. Well, I use mine in the sink. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. I have my window open now because this stuff here is very, very nasty. Okay, so you get the coughing and trying to inhale this is not pretty. Don't try it. All right, shake well, shake well. And this process only lasts a couple of minutes. So gonna show you here now don't be scared to um you know soak up your item a little bit soak it up make sure you because you want it all off now when I tried these parts here this orange came off in minutes you see I have a little speck still here I told you stuff is very nasty, but um, this stuff, this this part was the same color, and it came off in minutes. So this stuff is very awesome. So what you do is you spray it real good, let it sit. I would try to check back every five minutes. So we're gonna let that sit for a little while and see how that turns out. Okay, YouTube, we're back. Um, it's been sitting here for a couple minutes now. I'll say maybe about five, six, seven minutes. Um, when I first started the video, I told you all you needed some easy off, and I left out a main ingredient. You need steel wool. Okay, you could use the one with the soap in it, or you could use a regular. Either way. I like the ones with the soap in a little bit, so when I clean it, it's washing at the same time. But the regular soap doesn't matter, but that's one of the main ingredients. You do need that. Okay, so like I said, it's been about five to seven minutes. Um, every every five to seven minutes, you wanna wash it off and recoat it again with another another coat of Easy Off. So let's see how we, what we have here now. So 
as you see here, all of that orange is coming off. All of that orange is slowly coming off. Now I'm gonna do the inside much later, at a later time, but right now we're gonna just focus on the outside. So as you see, I still have a, you know, a little bit of orange still on it. So what we need to do with that is, give it a couple more coats. Let it sit for another five minutes. Let's see how we, let's see how much further we got from there. Um, you, will, you, will, you will want to wear gloves with this. This is some nasty stuff. I'm just so used to it. You know, I do it so much. Okay, here we go. And don't breathe when you do this. Okay, you two, you're gonna let this sit for another couple minutes. Again, and see how much closer we get to our, um, our chroming situation. Be right back. Okay, we're back. So, let's see how far we got. Mm, see, it's bubbling, looking all dirt, dirty and dark. It's that color coming off. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Very simple. Very, very simple to do. So basically, you just take all the color off with this easy off. Get it how you want it. You know, if you think that's good enough for you, fine. If you think you want to dip in and get a, a couple of more dips, hey. But that is basically how you do it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to give it one more dip for you guys. One more dip. It's so easy off. And I'm going to just, matter of fact, while I have it here, I just spray this inside also. Okay, you two, this should be the last dip of easy off. Now, if it comes off good for you, okay, you two, this should be it here. We'll have some water. Now, it's starting to look very good now. Steel wool is important at this time. So at this time, the next stage you do you can get as much out as you can, obviously. And this steel wool is gonna help a lot. You see how it's kind of looking real dim and not shiny? But that's when the steel wool come in and it helps it look like this. Total difference. Okay? So like I said, you take a regular steel wool, doesn't make it or old one with soap. Welcome on one, what's the same? And what I like to do at first, while it's under water, I like to just take it and um, go ahead and um, get the scrubber right there while it's already under water. And um, if you can see, it has a lot of shine to it already. You see that? Total difference. Very simple. 
take this and just take your time. We'll all be around. Take your time. Get it looking real good as you want it. And me later, I will be using my Rumble tool and my little um uh what they call it the uh polish tool from on the Rumble. And I will be polishing up just a little bit more. Cause I like mine to shine on my Baja. I'm a geek when it comes to shining. So couple steps and this is your end result of de-analyzing your color for your RC vehicles. If you have any parts that have color on it, don't have to tell you to buy it. Look at that. Look at that. And like I said, I will be taking my um, Rumble tool and shining and polishing this up a little bit. The inside, uh, I'll do that a little later. That is awesome. So, like, subscribe. YouTube, Baja Bless checking out. Peace.